see here. This is the last part, hopefully, maybe, of the Wiesman boiler heat exchanger destructive testing. So today we have the 65 Grendel in a Ruger American bolt action. And we also have some 86 Blackout. These are the 350 grain Maker's bullets, or Maker's Rec. Uh, 1060 feet per second. So we're going to give these a try. Let me take you down range, show you the heat exchanger setup before, and I'll have a camera running down range uh, watching the carnage. All right, so I got a little camera sitting here looking at this heat exchanger. I've got the heat exchanger strapped down to a stand so it really shouldn't go anywhere. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically 14 layers of 316 titanium stainless steel. Uh, we're gonna try shooting through that. Start up with the 6.5 Grendel, and then we'll move into the 8.6 Blackout. All right, got safety glasses on, hearing protection on. Let's load up the gun and take a shot. See if we can hit this thing. We've got two rounds in it now. Let's go take a look. All right, well, our first one was a little off center. So that blew out the side, so took another shot. And that one did not make it all the way through. So that ought to be a pretty good expansion test. And then this one, Made it in and out, in and out, in, out, in. And actually, we may still be inside that heat exchanger cell. Let's give it a stab with that 338 projectile and that 86 blackout. We're at 25 yards away. Let's go take a stab with that. And this is 25 yards with the 8.6 blackout. Subsonic. See what that 338 did. Ha! That one we hit right up here at the top. It expanded. That's going to be really, really hot, so I'm not going to even bother trying to touch that. That's pretty cool. Get this back to the bench. Cut it apart. See what we did. And now we're back at the bench. These things cut apart. So here is our 8.6 blackout. It's in there. These are our 265 Grendels. We're a little off center with that first shot and tried crawling out the side. So here are five heat exchanger tube sections. So the first one, the ends, the outs, so that 350 grain bullet, can't quite get that out of there, I might be able to wiggle it out now. That one stopped, 
basically in the first section, or at least bounced back from the second. Here's the Grendels. Got a big dent there with that 8.6 blackout. Here are the exit from the Grendel. And that was a 123 grain bullet at 15 yards. And I think that, oh, I can still hear some of the chunks floating around in there. So I think our lead and uh, leftovers are still in this section. So the one that crawled out the side, that one made it through four ish the one that was more of a dead hit actually here's the lead and there's our grendel bullet so if your antelope or white-tailed deer happen to be hiding behind a Viesman boiler it's a good chance they're going to be safe So four tubes or eight layers will stop a bullet. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for other fun things we can find laying around to put bullets in. And back at the bench. Get this heat exchanger sitting up here, cut apart. Here is our 8.6 blackout bullet. The stainless steel definitely did a number on it, thoroughly mangled it. Here are our 6.5 Grendel slugs that were recovered from inside of the heat exchanger. So those definitely did a number. So these sections cut apart. Here is our, maybe we'll zoom in a little bit. Our first section, entrance holes, exit hole, exit holes. Those correspond with these. Point six blackout stopped by the fourth layer. Six five Grendel carrying a little faster velocity punched right through layers three and four. So those are the exits. These are the exits. Six blackout, big dent in layer, let's see, one, two, yeah, so I guess we did put a big dent in here. This is in layer number three, and our heat exchanger number three, and that's where one of the slugs came to rest for the Grendel, and the other one kind of poked halfway out the side and exit holes again. This one did not exit. And then the 8.6 blackout, no dent on the back side. And then a big dent and a bit of a cut. So this is where the last Grendel came to rest. Or the, actually that would have been the first shot, the one that ran down the edge. Just a slight dent on the back side. But otherwise, Viesman heat exchangers are pretty tough. Can we say they're bulletproof? Mm, to some extent. 
I definitely will stop bullets at some point. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment.